Death and the Afterlife. Ever wonder who goes to heaven and if God is a loving God, who goes to hell and why? It's all about grace. If you don't forgive the sins of others, your heavenly Father cannot forgive your sins. To forgive, all we have to do is one of two things. And these two are opposites of each other. One, immediately fellowship again with those who offended us. Or two, create some distance between them for a while and give yourself some time to heal. What I'm about to say may sound unpopular, but it's untrue. Murderers may have gone to heaven, and some religious people may have gone to hell. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Man looks on the outside, but God sees the heart. So we really don't know who goes to heaven and who goes to hell, nor is it our business. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, not work for your salvation, work out. Jesus wants us to work on ourselves and focus on our own salvation. Guessing who went to heaven and who went to hell, it's a waste of time, time that we could have spent serving God. I tell you for certain, we do take all of our possessions to judgment day. All of our junk will be in a pile over our left shoulder and the poor of this world is encamped around the throne of God with the most high seated there. The more junk we have, the harder of a time it's going to be explaining to God why we lived in luxury while his people were hungry and thirsty and homeless and naked and sick and we chose not to love on them. When it comes to material possessions, Christianity is more about subtraction and division, not addition and multiplication. God loves his creatures, but some people harm him by not loving him back. He is so hurt, and that's why some souls inherit hell. To love God is to obey him. We, as Christians, have only one command. It is love. There's no such thing as unconditional love. Love is unconditional. If what we do for others comes with conditions, it's manipulation or employment or something else. It's not love. And not everyone is a sinner. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. If you run as a lifestyle, you are a runner. But if you sin and repent, you're no longer a sinner, but one who has sinned. You're not what you once were. You're a new creature. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. When Paul said, there's none righteous, no, not one, he was quoting from the Psalms. That Psalm is not talking about the church. There are only three people on earth, and the Bible speaks only to these three people, the Jew, the Gentile, and the church. By blood, the Jew is God's child, always has been, always will be. But the church, my love, is God's bride. Christians enter into the family a whole different way. Jesus said to his apostles at the Last Supper, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. In summary, remember God's grace. Show love, rinse, and repeat.